One of the more disgusting aspects about Hollywood that so often gets brushed aside by the mainstream media and ignored by people in the industry is the treatment of child actors, people who are underage, and some of the things that they go through on these sets with some of these people that are in charge of what they're doing day in and day out. And one person is continuing to speak out about what happened to her at Nickelodeon while on the set with Dan Schneider. Now, Dan Schneider is very well known for some of the things that has happened with him and a lot of the people he's been involved with, child actors, throughout the years. All you have to do is a quick YouTube search. You can find several exposés of Dan Snyder and some of the allegations that are leveled towards him. Well, yet again, we have someone coming out and doing that, even though they can't necessarily name drop Dan Schneider. Actress Jeanette McCurdy claims Nickelodeon offered hush money for silence about, quote, the creator's abuse. Now, of course, there's a lot of speculation going on here of who the creator is. Like I mentioned in the beginning, a lot of people are talking about Dan Schneider because he was the creator of these shows that Jeanette McCurdy was a part of, what she's talking about, even though she doesn't write his name down, probably for legal reasons. But it is very easy to piece together who she's likely referring to in this. Former Nickelodeon actress Jeanette McCurdy alleges in a new memoir that executives at the studio offered her 300 grand to remain silent about the alleged abuse she suffered at the hands of, quote, the creator of the show she worked on. McCurdy was a longtime stable on the Nickelodeon Children's Network, starring on multiple hit shows like iCarly and Sam and Cat. In her, new memoir in her new memoir entitled, I'm Glad My Mom Died, McCurdy alleged Nickelodeon allegedly offered her $300,000 in hush money to keep silent about the abuse she suffered working on those TV shows. McCurdy does not mention this person by name, instead choosing to refer to him as only the creator. McCurdy alleges the creator encouraged her to drink alcohol when she was only 18 years old and also massaged her shoulders in an inappropriate manner. The actor writes, my shoulders do have a lot of knots in them, but I don't want the creator to be the one rubbing them out. I want to say something to tell him to stop, but I'm so scared of offending him. McCurdy goes on to say, when her show Sam and Cat was canceled by the network in 2014, an agent told her that Nickelodeon was, quote, offering her 300 grand and that she should think of it as a thank you gift. They're giving you 300 grand and only thing they want you to do is never talk publicly about your experience at Nickelodeon. She goes on to say her manager was talking about her experiences specifically related to the creator. McCurdy rejected the offer, even though her team told her it was free money. She responded, no, it's not. This isn't free money. This feels to me like hush money. I'm not taking hush money. What the fuck? Nickelodeon is offering me 300 grand in hush money to not talk publicly about my experience on the show, my personal experiences of the creator's abuse. This is a network with shows made for kids. Shouldn't they have some sort of moral compass or some sort of ethical standard? The answer is no. This is Hollywood, and when it comes specifically to a lot of the things we've heard about Dan Schneider in the past, we're talking about unsupervised minors uh, that are encouraged to dress scantily, including a lot of barefoot stuff. There's so much weird stuff having to do with Dan Schneider and feet. He has some weird fetish that we're going to get into a little bit later in this article. Uh, but it's very creepy stuff. Alcohol has a lot to do with it. Uh, filming things that are very sexually suggestive. These are all a part of what they had these children doing. And again, uh, Jeanette McCurdy is coming out and sharing some of her experiences in this book. While McCurdy never mentions it, it's many speculate she's referring to Dan Schneider, who's the creator and executive producer of Sam and Cat and iCarly. Recently surfaced videos have appeared on the internet that were filmed during that time, showing Schneider harassing McCurdy that were put up on Schneider's social media at the time. Schneider, who's been involved with Nickelodeon dating back to the 80s, has long been associated with online rumors uh, regarding teens who have worked with his many hit shows over the last couple decades. In 2018, they quietly cut ties with Schneider after that 25-year relationship saw him work on Zoe 101, Victorious, all that in The Amanda Show. This decision was made shortly after Harvey Weinstein got taken down with the Me Too movement. And it wasn't that long after that that Dan Schneider deleted 15,000 tweets, which amounted to more than half of Schneider's entire tweet history. Most of them involved references Dan made to his teenage co-stars, including McCurdy. Uh, to make things even more interesting, a majority of the deleted tweets had a particular theme mentioning child, foot, and toes. 
And this is someone who, you know, gave a big interview to the New York Times saying, I'm ready to be back. I'm ready to be back working on things because that's how it works in Hollywood. Hollywood, they're going to overlook this time and time again. That's part of the industry. That's part of the entertainment industry at this point. And it's disgusting. And Jeanette McCurdy is not the first person to come out and say these things. Uh, hopefully she will not be the last to tell the story about what is going on, the abuses that these people, that these kids are suffering in Hollywood and the people that are trying to take advantage of them. Truly disgusting. Let me know what you think about Jeanette McCurdy's story, about what's going on, about Dan Schneider and all the stuff that's alleged to have gone on at Nickelodeon over the past several decades. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.